Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday, and we are headed over to Turkey for the Tombik Donesh. Now, this is a recipe from Rafika's Kitchen. She's a widely popular, hugely popular uh, cook and host on her YouTube channel, Rafika's Kitchen. And in fact, it's a little bit of a process. We have to actually start today, do step two tomorrow, and then do step three on the third day. So uh, let's do step one. First thing we do is grate an onion. Okay, now we gotta grind some meat. It called for rib meat, which is not typically used for ground hamburger, so I figured I'd get some uh, boneless ribs from my man Edward at Whole Foods Meat Counter and uh, grind it myself. Okay, now to our ground beef, we add yogurt, milk, salt, butter, chili flakes, and lots of thyme. Get that all mixed together. And lastly, we squeeze our uh, onion to get all the onion juice out of it. And uh, Get this all mixed together, then we let it sit in the fridge overnight. Okay, it's the next day, and now we have to shape this into kind of a roll on parchment, and then put it in the freezer until it's frozen solid. See you tomorrow. All right, let's make the tomic rolls. To lukewarm water, we add yeast and a pinch of sugar. Stir that together and let it sit for five minutes. Now we add salt to flour and combine. Now we add our yeast and water mixture to the flour, as well as melted butter that's been allowed to cool. Okay, now we're gonna need this for about six minutes or until it comes together and is uh, elastic and nice. So now we uh, put a little oil on it in an oil bowl and cover it and let it rise for about 45 minutes, supposedly. All right, while the bread's rising, let's go ahead and make our onion sumac salad. So to onion, add a little bit of salt and massage it. Then we add in chopped parsley, sumac, and olive oil. Get that all mixed together and set it aside. Now we take the dough and cut it in half and shape into eight inch rounds. Okay, it says four to eight inches. <laughs> and now we let it rest for another 15 minutes. All right, now we brush the tops with a beaten egg, sprinkle on sesame seeds, and nigella or black cumin seeds. Then into a hot oven on a baking stone for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. All right, now we let them rest for five minutes, which is pretty convenient because that's how long we have to let our frozen meat sit out before we can slice into it. Okay, so now we're supposed to take shavings off of this. Um, it's still pretty solid, but... Now we saute our shavings in butter on both sides. Now we toast our bread. I can only fit uh, one piece in at a time. On the bottom we put our meat, our sumac onion salad, pickled cucumbers, tomatoes, and lettuce. Okay, let's give this tombik donesh a go. There is so much flavor in here, it is ridiculous. Between the seasoning on the meat, the uh, seasoning on the bread, the tomatoes, the pickles, the sumac onion salad. This is fantastic. Okay, so no plus up for that. That is a 10 out of 10. An amazing explosion of flavor between the seasoning and the beef with the thyme and the red chili flakes to the sesame seeds on the bread and the black cumin seeds, the nigella seeds, to that onion sumac salad. This is just an amazing explosion of flavors. Now, is it a lot of work? It absolutely is. Is it a home version? Yes, it absolutely is. This is not necessarily an authentic version that you would see uh, made at a restaurant or a cart over in Turkey, but it is fantastic. I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't think I would make it again because it is such a process, but hopefully one day I'll make it over to Turkey and have one in real life. Mm. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.